All right, boys and girls, welcome to April's Daily Math. Uh, we will start here with day one. I got a little piece of paper over here to the side to kind of work through some problems since I don't have the paper copy. Uh, again, we'll just do the best we can here. So, uh, number one says uh, 2 times 5 times 5, and then it has the equal sign uh, 10 times 3. So, 2 times 5 times 5 equals 10 times 3. And we have to prove whether this is true or false. So uh, 2 times 5 is 10. And then times 5 more is 50. Okay. 10 times 3 is 30. So does 50 equal 30? It does not equal 30. So number 1 is false. All right, uh, number <clears throat> two says, how many minutes are in a quarter of an hour? Draw a clock. All right, there's my clock, okay. So there's 12 o'clock, here's 12 and six, and straight across, three and nine. Let's squeeze one and two in there, squeeze in four and five, seven, eight, 10, 11. Okay, so in 15 minutes, just say it starts right here, okay, <clears throat> in a quarter of an hour. So if I were to break this into four equal pieces, one fourth of an hour, I'm just going to kind of fill this in a little bit like that. So I've got four equal pieces, okay, and I see that in 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. Okay, so 5, 10, 15 minutes. So answer to number 2 is 15, and minutes is already labeled there for you. Okay, number 3, write a multiplication equation for this array. So I'm looking over here. I see 1, 2, 3 down uh, times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 across. So 7 times 3 equals 21. If you put 7 times 3 equals 21, that's okay too. All right, number 4. Here we go. Uh, Longwood Gardens planted 350 tulip bulbs last fall. 278 of the tulips bloomed this spring. How many tulips did not bloom? Okay, so we know how many total are planted. It, 350, <clears throat> excuse me, so we know there's a total of 350 planted, and uh, 278 of them bloomed. Okay, and how many did not bloom? So they, they bloomed or they didn't bloom? So if we add up how many bloomed with how many didn't bloom, we get the total. So like our fact triangle goes, if we take that and we take it away, that also gives us our answer. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Uh, more on the floor. You have to borrow from next door. Uh, 10 minus 8 is 2. Uh, 4 minus 7. Again, more on the floor. Borrow from next door. 14 minus 7 is 7. Uh, 2 minus 2. Numbers are the same. Zero is a game. I don't have to put a zero there. Uh, 72. So how many tulips did not bloom? 72, and tulips is already written on there for you. And here we go with number five. Oh, there's a little fact. Milkweed plants grow in fields, meadows, roadsides, and gardens. So we need to write less than, greater than, or equal to. So on one side, we have two quarters, a dime, and five nickels. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to compare that to one quarter, three dimes, and eight pennies. I hope that's eight. Okay, so two quarters is 50 cents, 25, 50. A dime is 10. And five, 10, 15, 20. 25 uh, for our nickels. So 50 plus 10 plus 25, so we have 0 plus 0 plus 5 is 5. 
We have 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 2 more is 8. So on this side of it, we have 85 cents. Over here we have 25, we have 10, 20, 30, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pennies. So eight, 5 plus 0 plus 8 equals 13. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 63 cents. So again, we added to 3, 4, 5, and one more makes 6. 63 cents. So 85 cents is greater than 63 cents. All right, boys and girls, there we go. That is day number one in April's daily math.